guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thanks for joining. Now, first off, apologies that it's been a bit quiet this week on Tax TV. Uh, thought I'd have a little break. There's not, there's a lot to talk about, but I think if we did a video like that every day this week, we'd sort of be repeating ourselves. So we've actually waited before some kind of concrete has come out of the club, which has took till now. Um, which is, uh, what can I say? I suppose it's a step in the right direction in terms of who's going to come in as head coach. I'm not going to use the term manager because we'll not go down that road. Um, now, Neil Warnock, I'm going to talk about him first because a lot of people seem to, a uh, majority of pe people I've mentioned Warnock, what I've seen on social media, etc. Uh, I am a big Neil Warnock fan. I have always liked him. I, I like him as a as a manager. Uh, I do like him. He's very passionate about any job he's in. Uh, he's old school. He's everything I would want as a football manager. And he's the perfect man to get you out of the situation that we are in at the moment that being said he is expected to be retiring at the end of the season and whether he would come to Oakwell is another another matter because the way this club runs is not the ideal way that Neil Warnock would like to come uh, now he got Cardiff up they got relegated again, of course, and then he's left. Uh, I've, I've actually not looked too far into it, whether he'd been sacked or whether he'd left the, the job itself. And I just know that he's not with Cardiff anymore. Um, so, Neil Warnock in a heartbeat, but will not go down that road. It's, it's simple. Neil Warnock, I don't believe, will come to the club. And I would be surprised if he did, but I can't see it personally. Uh, there's lots of managers out there who I would like, who I've always wanted at Barnsley. I've always wanted Ian Holloway. I thought Ian Holloway is, a, again, a great, great football manager. I love Holloway. Great character. Uh, and you look at what he did with the likes of Blackpool on a very limited budget. He's, he's a very... I've always liked him, but, again, he's not the type of person who will come and work under this board, this system, what we want as a football club. Um, so, it begs the question, why, of course. Now, the fact that we've still not got somebody in over a month now does big, bring big, huge uh, question marks over the football club because I'm pretty sure they want to get the right man in. That's fair enough. But the amount of people that they've interviewed, I mean, Jens Keller has turned us, apparently so, turned us down and he's gone somewhere else. Uh, this is England that pays better in wages, apparently, and he's gone somewhere else. So it, it speaks to me that a lot of people who have come and been interviewed for this job don't want it for the simple reason of how the football club is ran. And... It's very, very quiet. A lot of people tweeting out, where's Chen Li? Three, three tweets in over a year for for the football club. It's uh, it's not good enough. And I am back, I back that with, where where is it? I mean, I said it in the match review. I wanted to see a... Sorry about that. I wanted to see a statement come out reassuring fans that all is as well as it can be, as well as it can be, because at this moment in time, it's not in terms of us looking at it. And I've actually seen a tweet from, um, I will bring it you up right now. Um, uh, I will read it out to you when I find it. This is from Justin Lockwood, who put out on Twitter. That hearing terrible things uh, about the situation behind the scenes at all, well, very concerning, worrying at times. And I will put that in the video. You will see that now. Uh, so looking at that, again, I don't know how concrete it is, but to tweet something like that 
is again very very worrying if not all's great behind the scenes bad times ahead etc uh, and this is from uh Ly lyle thomas a sky sports reporter who tweeted out exclusive bands left he wants to speak to wolf's burger manager uh gerard uh struber after becoming their uh, uh about becoming their new manager uh sky sports understands um now, don't get confused. It's not Wolfsburg in Germany. It's Wolfsburger in the Austrian league. I got confused at first when somebody somebody sent it me and I was like, Jesus. And then I read it again. I'm like, yeah, of course it's not Wolfsburg. A um, lot of mixed opinions on that too. Uh, I've seen, um, you know, they're doing, I think they're doing, they're in the Europa League. They've drawn with Roma. Uh, would he be the answer? It's a lot different. You can't. I can't sit here and say he'd be the answer. I'm not a fortune teller. We didn't know Daniel Stendhal would be the answer, so we don't know if this guy's going to be the answer. But fair play to him if he drops out of what he's doing at the moment with them to come and manage us who are 24th in the league and can't buy a win. So fair play if he does do that. But I personally can't see it. Uh. And it actually says in the tweet, manager, whereas, again, we will probably not go down that route of of manager. Uh, and it's the international break. So they've had huge amounts of time to be able to sort somebody to come into the football club. And I, I know they'd want to make the right decision. I, 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 I fully get that, but it's taking too long now. Uh, there's some tough games coming up with teams around us who we're playing that... I, I personally can't see where our next win is coming from. And to do this, to do Tykes TV and actually sit here and say that about my own football club, it does it does upset me. It does upset me to be a fan going to every game thinking, I don't think we're going to get something. Now, performances have been okay, a, little, a lot better, but we're not, we're not winning. So it doesn't make a difference, and the Stoke game is a prime example of that. We played okay, but we didn't, we didn't win, and we can sit here all day long. If we we can play all okay or good all season, but if we're not winning, we'll still go down. Um, so the silence from the club. Uh, I don't want them to come out and be saying, "Oh, we're looking at so and so, so and so." No, I don't want that. I want, I just want a bit of reassur reassurance. And that wouldn't hurt. And I've said it before on here. Uh, I've said it plenty of times. That the biggest, biggest letdown in all this is James Crine. The Crine family own 20% of this football club. The consortium owns 80. Right? He's entitled to say something. And for him as a person whose dad ran the club and ran the club as well as he could... For nothing to come out from anybody, I would have thought he would have at least come out and reassured the fans and said, look, we know we're going through a bad patch, stick with us, stick by us, and you know we'll overcome this. And, and we've not heard nothing. So he is the biggest disappointment for me, massively disappointed because he should know that the people of Barnsley if they come out and they be honest with us would take it on the chin and say right you've got a support we'll go with that but there's been nothing not even from him so that is all I want I don't want them to publicly come out with all they're looking at or all they're going to going to get in January or whatever I just want some reassurance and I'm sure all the other fans do because like I said in the match review for the Stoke game the protests have already been planned for it because some fans have just just had enough because it ain't, it what it didn't just this window the, the summer window it was January with Salt Potts who arguably was his best player and you think if Potts doesn't go we would have got up a lot easier than we did a lot of people say and I do partly agree that we did scrape over the line eventually and we relied on other results but if we'd have had Potts who I, I think was our best player we might have been uh, a lot better because you think of the players that we brought in have they featured at all? Jordan Green I think he was the, the, the big signing 
You can't count Collywood, Joe, because we'd already got him. And the summer before that was when we let Bradshaw go. Oh, I still didn't think we were... We got Woodrow, who I think is a, a bit of a better player. But in terms of Woodrow Moore, I thought we still needed somebody else that season. So, yeah, that's uh, that's all I've got to say, guys. But um, the guy in question, never heard of him in my life, but we know we can't go like that. But according to this report here, when it does eventually load... Uh, I will read it out to you. Just bear with me. Internet's been a bit slow. Um, come on. See, this is why I should do notes, you know? But the good thing about doing this and what I always like about it is it's totally off the cuff, this channel. It's like completely... My God, just load. It probably knows I'm, I'm uh, doing a video or some sort. It doesn't want to. But anyway... Uh, Barnsley want to speak to Wolfsburger boss uh, Gerard uh, Struber about becoming new manager. 42 years of age. Uh, only joined the Austri Austrian Bundesliga Liga club earlier this year but has guided them to third in the division this season. Barnsley without a boss since second Daniel Stendhal. Uh, Sky Sports uh, News previously reported the former uh, manager uh, for Ingolstadt manager Jens Keller has also been interviewed for the vacancy and was at Oakwell for the 2-2 draw against Bristol uh, City so he was there uh, and he's apparently turned it down so yeah we're even having managers head coaches from overseas turn us down and if the other tweet what I showed earlier is true about there being bad times ahead uh, it does make you worry and that is why I want some reassurance coming out from the board uh, from a statement from the club that is why I want reassurance so that's it guys let us know your thoughts on the situations going on at Oakwell I am very sorry there's not been too many videos this week but as I said there haven't been much come out of the club to even report on apart from probably this there's been the odd thing but nothing too concrete to actually talk about so I do apologise because I do like to get videos out near enough every day for you but there you have it so thank you for tuning in guys and I will see you in the next video whenever that may be because it's international break so there's not much to talk about we might talk about England we'll give England a go maybe so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later take care